In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for Na2S plus PbNO3 2, sodium sulfide plus lead 2 nitrate. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I can see that I have a nitrate ion here, but here I have two of them. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the NaNO3. That gives me two sodium atoms, two sodium atoms, one sulfur here, one sulfur here, and then one lead, and one lead. So the molecular equation, that's balanced. Now we can write the states for each substance. Sodium compounds are very soluble. We're going to put a little aqueous there. It'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Nitrates, also very soluble. Aqueous. We have another nitrate, sodium nitrate. That's soluble. Whenever I see lead compounds, though, I'm very cautious. When we have sulfur bonded to transition metals, like with this lead 2 sulfide, those are almost always highly insoluble. So they won't dissolve in water. So we're going to put an S here. When these two substances react, we get this solid here. That's a precipitate. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That's the complete ionic equation. Sodium on the periodic table, group 1. So 1 plus in the sulfur, that's 2 minus ions. So we have two sodium ions. And I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. Plus the sulfide ion, S2 minus. And then lead's a transition metal, so we have to look at what it's bonded to to find its charge. But the nitrate, the whole thing, is always 1 minus. We have two of them. It has to be 2 plus. That's why we call it lead 2 nitrate. So our lead 2 ion, Pb2 plus, and then we have two nitrate ions, 2NO3 minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have two sodium ions, and then we have two nitrate ions. And then for the PBS, that's a solid. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, just PBS, like that. This is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In the reactants, I see sodium, two sodium ions, and in the products. Get rid of that. Two nitrate ions in the reactants, two in the products. Get rid of that. And what's left, that's our net ionic equation for Na2S plus PbNO3 2. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium sulfide plus lead 2 nitrate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a 2 minus and a 2 plus. They cancel out, neutral compound, and you have the same number of atoms on each side. So mass is conserved as well. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion put first. It's the same net ionic equation. It doesn't really matter. It does look a little nicer. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Na2S plus PbNO3 2. Thanks for watching.